How old I'm are not going to say specifically, but I'm younger than 38. So but I consider Jim, now. Sefton. Jim Sefton says, I need a drink after all the stones cast coffee, whiskey, and Bailey's. I just woke up at 6.30 a.m. here. Wow, my man's across the pond at 6.30 in the morning. You're getting this in the oh. morning. I wonder how it feels to um, pause to get this in the morning. <laughs> this, yeah, wake up early in the morning to hear this shit? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, is he, what is he talking about? Good, he needs a drink? For what? It's a good thing I don't um, live in a glass house, though. Yeah. Sex. Oh yeah! By the way, I was gonna—I was gonna tell you. Um, I don't know. Uh, earlier today, I saw this article that said uh, the biggest "what if" in sports, and um, the picture was of—I don't know if you guys know this girl is her name is Monica Sellers. Yes. So that kind of just made me. Yeah, that just made me think. Like, what if that was Serena Williams that got stabbed? I mean, that would have been oh, in the back. The, yeah, like that no, would have been, been the biggest the story. Biggest... They would still be talking about it. Today. They would still be talking about it. Yeah, yep. yeah. Um, salute to um, who's this guy? Um, John Griggs. Do I know you, John Griggs? It sounds familiar. I don't know. John Griggs. John Griggs. Go on once. John Griggs. Go on hey, somebody. hey, what's John up? Gr- what's up, Bob? Do I know you? Who are you? Yeah, um, I super chat you all the time. I'm a former law enforcement officer, and um been following you for about two years and all so um just wanted to kind of park and give some where, comments when i can where mm. are you from um, um, if you don't mind telling me. i'm from western kentucky but the majority of my career i worked in st louis missouri mm. oh so let's do st louis man that's a st. city that I... so so damn so you got ptsd is what you're telling me oh yeah did you out about it all of did us you, got did you, PTSD did for you, uh, after 2020. Did you retire or did you have to go into hiding because you uh, abused some sun man? <laughs> no. Um, after Ferguson, things just weren't the same. Um, it, it's a long, complicated story, but I mm. uh, filed a lawsuit, got out of town, and came back home. Salute, right. salute. Let, 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 let me um, get into this story. St. Louis, you're going to go. Speak of the devil. Um. Our St. Louis police are turning in their badges as vacancies climb by the week. As city police quit, a new report reveals the police chief's salary is the highest among law enforcement in the metro area. Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy takes a look at the troubling numbers. Right there, next to the flashing red lights, 311. Wait for it, though, because St. Louis just sent an update. 312. That's how many vacancies there are at the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. What the city's doing isn't working. St. Louis Police Officers Association business manager Joe Steiger blames red tape across the city's government with getting new officers hired. That we have applicants that come in here and it takes so long for them to process and get through and over to the police department that they're being picked off by other departments in the meantime. Steiger says the gap will only grow as a big chunk of officers are eligible to retire in the next year or two. He says it's time for St. Louis to step up its recruiting game. I had a conversation with the chief last week about this. I know he's got some ideas to try to do uh, some new recruiting efforts. Speaking of the chief, according to a new report by our news partner at the Post-Dispatch. A white chief? Wow. Damn, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that looks that. It does that's look weird. They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo. Right? So tell me this, um, 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 um John, uh, somebody's got like some feedback, man. It's one of you guys got some feedback in your, your mic. But John, is is th- this story is accurate? Would you say? Absolutely. And if you look at the new um salary for new hire St. Louis police officers, it's some of the highest in the country. So it's, it's it's around seventy thousand, a little bit more. And that's wow. in the Midwest, yes. yeah. So why are you guys leaving, though? Why would you say they're leaving? Oh, geez, because it's an absolute war zone. I mean, as soon as you get into the first precinct, second precinct, I mean, it is, it's really bad. Um, I knew a guy, can't get into a whole lot, but I knew a guy who um, used to bring a, an AK-47 
to work. Every, this dude's a West Point graduate. Um, he led a platoon in Afghanistan, and he used to bring his AK-47 to work every day. Well, he was told, hey, you can't bring that. Um, you're not allowed to have it. Well, there was a shooting, and a police officer got shot. He responded, and um, he ended up shooting a son who pointed a 38 revolver at him and fired a few times. And because he shot him with that AK, it created a lawsuit. The um, uh, what's her name? The uh, St. Louis County. Uh, or the Kim St. Louis. Yeah. Oh, Kim yep. Yep. Kim. Um, yeah, they tried to ruin that man's life, and he yeah. said in 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 his in his uh, deposition, he said, "I felt like I had to carry this AK-47." to protect to protect my fellow officers like i need this this is a war zone Dang. so when you have people that see that constantly you're not going to block all this out for police i mean there's so much that we don't see that happen there is so much crime that is unreported so do you think that the people in those neighborhoods do, do you feel like they support you guys or how do they receive you well I mean, if somebody's calling the police from some of those neighborhoods, another thing you got to remember is St. Louis police are not responding to petty calls. They're not even going to domestic violences. I mean, unless it's, <laughs> I'm serious, unless it's an assault two or greater or serious felony, and they're jammed call to call. I mean, call to freaking call. Um, wow. Even if you brought in their numbers, 300 National Guard, it wouldn't matter. Jesus. Yeah, that's yeah, true. The same that's thing is down here. Um, basically, we, we're losing half of the departments. Where are and you? When, uh, Atlanta. So, are when you, you lose half... Ha- yeah, absolutely. Damn, I holy shit, all these cars. So, you lose yeah. half of your department, and that's not what they're telling you. So, that they're not... They're, say, 300 vacancies, but they won't really post a number. So, you have a 1,000 cops... You done lost 500, but you lost 300 this year. They will only report on the 300. They're not reporting on the other 200 the year before. So you done lost half of your department. And these mm. calls are coming in even more. And just like how you said, the Ferguson effect was the first big thing. We wasn't losing a whole lot. But after 2020, that's when the deep right. decline in, in officers. And I mean, can I ask you a question? I yeah. got one question for you, bro. Do you know Officer Brooks? Hmm? No, 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 I don't. I don't. Uh, I, I wish I did. I got to give him a handshake. <laughs> that was good. That one was good. You don't know Officer Brooks, man. Okay, man. I just want to make sure. Yeah, man, that's that's a great point wow. you make about them year over year. Gliders got that thing where every year they start back in yeah. zero. It's the darnest thing. But um, salute to Devin. He says, I agree with you, with Patel. You men had zero frame dealing with that woman. And she completely steamrolled you guys. I was disappointed. Y'all sounded weak. Okay, Devin, let me just say this, Devin. That woman, she was very assertive. She's she's a radio host. She came in here, and yes, yeah, she did kind of like alpha. She's an alpha woman. She came in here, and she did her thing. You know what I'm saying? But allowing her to talk. And allowing her to keep talking and keep talking and do what she does is good content. It's right. better content than fucking with a woman, man. Right. Yeah, they want, they, want, they, want, they, want, they want to jump her and shit. They want to right. jump her and shit, jump a girl and shit. What the fuck? Talk, talk, no, well, I mean, the more – my whole thing was when she started talking, I could tell she was dumb. And a lot of times one of the best strategies for dumb people is to let them talk themselves into a corner. And that's what I did. I don't think, she, she, I don't think she was dumb. I don't think she was she, dumb. No, she, she was dumb. She was dumb. And then I, when I called her on it, she said everybody's a clown. And then she shouted out her dumb shit and left. <laughs> let me say, let me say one last thing about it. Is just well, two things. One was you guys didn't hold her feet to the fire at all. And second, I, I feel like we Ock, did. Ock, when Ock was pulling up the uh, uh, the the gun memorial, that was like his uh, his dynamite. But when he yeah. when he displayed it, he lit the fuse. She looked at it, man. She diffused that shit. It was nah, a, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. It was a dud. No, she didn't. Because she knew. She no, she didn't. Because she she said 
she said that she she said that she knew that well she's like yeah i see that the black the brown faces on it she 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 admitted she knew that black yeah, people but, but were causing she violence disregarded and it and moved on from it so fast i think she well, her feet should have been held to the fire how about feet, this? How about you, you should have kept her there you should have kept her there though how about this how about this guys i'm gonna drop the replay of that tomorrow um i already already edited i'm gonna drop that tomorrow and y'all can and, and yeah. then we'll talk about it tomorrow because because I, I think you you miss hearing it you got to hear it again right yo patel i think you're missing you haven't been listening patel facts don't matter dude facts don't exactly. matter at all dude nothing matters to them you once they that, patel? Their mind, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, nothing it's she's not, i'm not saying to convince her i wasn't saying i'm not saying you had to convince her that she was wrong I'm saying you guys didn't help hold her feet to the fire. Patel, enough, we we so. we could have yelled at each other. We all the stuck time. to the point. We all stuck we, to the point that the Venezuelans were not doing no crime. Right, Those are black, right. the sun man doing the crime. Well, Nobody Austin changed. Is not, Austin is not a safe neighborhood by any means, dude. But but look, look, Patel, we could have just yelled at each other, I guess. But you gotta understand, it's not just a catchy slogan. It's a matter of fact that facts do not matter. They don't matter for shit, dude. Really. Really take that in, put it in your pipe, and smoke it. Okay, well, well, go back and listen to it again. I, I mean, you, you guys will see it my way. Okay, we'll I, I will. I'll keep you in mind. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Um... A new report by our news partner at the Post Dispatch: Robert Tracy is making two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, with one hundred thousand dollars paid by the St. Louis Police Foundation. The Fox Files found 961 total commissioned officers at the St. Louis County Police Department with 130 vacancies. The Post-Dispatch reports Chief Kenneth Gregory makes more than $180,000 there. And over the river, St. Charles's Police Chief hauls in a little more than $160,000. Police say there are no vacancies among their 118 total officers. Back in St. Louis, the starting salary for officers increased and there's negotiated pay raises in place. St. Louis police writing Tuesday, quote, earlier this year, the city of St. Louis amended the pay ordinance and now officers with a valid Missouri post license can start with the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department at the same rate of pay as a current officer with credit given for their years of service at another law enforcement agency for up to 15 years. For the Fox Files, I'm investigator Mitch McCoy. Okay, so cops. Uh, um, let me, can I chime in on that for a second? looking for a group. Of um, St. Charles is a glider area. Um, of course, and that's why there's no vacancies, because people don't mind being cops in glider areas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the the oh, other yeah. thing is, years ago, St. Charles... Here's the problem in St. Louis. Uh, East St. Louis used to be a real issue. East St. Louis is actually safer mm. now than North St. Louis. Um, they built what was called the Metro Link, right? Oh, so, yeah. That's a, you that talked is. about that. I, when they do that, they, they transport the Sun Man quicker and they bring that's, out their yeah. shit. Yeah, St. Louis yeah. or St. Charles County refused to let the Metro Link in there and they were being called racist and they have some right. really nice malls over there. They've got there's a lot of good amen amenities there, and they absolutely mm. refused. They said, "We're not, you're not opening the Metro Link here." And as you showed, no vacancies. Yeah, and and mm. here's the thing: we had that happen here in D.C. at, at a, a, a community called Georgetown. It was it's almost a hundred percent glider, but very very glider where the school Georgetown is. But this is the neighborhood of Georgetown. And uh, they wanted to put a um, metro over there for years. I'm talking about they fought. Same thing with D.C. They fought tooth and nail to try to get to convince them those gliders didn't budge. And that type of glider is missing in 2020. Um, you don't see that type of glider that's just like, no, fuck you. I, yeah, okay, I'm a racist. Great. But you're not getting to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, fine, okay, I'm a racist then. But this glider, this modern glider, I don't think that they Georgetown would have been able to keep that um that metro out of out of out of the out of their neighborhood with this modern glider. You know, even though you said the people in um when did they do that in Charles St. Charles? When did they veto that? Um oh that started in nineteen ninety seven and ran all the way okay, to, okay, yeah. To the yeah, mid yeah. uh twenty like thir twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This modern glider would fold. Would have folded. Yeah. Absolutely. So good thing they got that done before. City police are looking for a group of thieves who broke into a Clifton Heights home while residents were sleeping. Fox 2's Mallory Thomas shows us the terrifying moments the criminals ran out of the home. The residents of a home in South St. Louis's Clifton Heights neighborhood don't want to be identified, but they're sharing this video with us to warn others. The victims are understandably shaken up. Overnight Tuesday, four people shimmied open a window to their home, climbed inside, and helped themselves to gifts sitting